The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. Trade over 17,000 markets with extended trading hours on key US shares and competitive spreads, all on an award-winning platform. Get started at IG.com. And our Stock of the Day is Promedicus. We thought we'd take a look at this because the company says its founders, Dr. Sam Pippett and Anthony Hall, do not plan to sell any further shares in the foreseeable future. The co-founders have each sold around 1 million Promedica shares, representing 4% of the respective shareholding. In fact, they tend to do this every six months, sell a million shares. And also we've had an upgrade there from, well, one broker, Bill Potter, raising its price target by almost 100% to $260, essentially playing catch up. The stock is already at that level, as you can see there, in fact, just eclipsing it. Uh, the broker acknowledging it may have underestimated the value appreciation coming from contract upgrades and price leadership in key markets. Well, it's not alone in having done that. Uh, it's got a hold on the stock at the moment. So let's see what our experts think. And Michael, look, you know, uh, not alone in missing how far this stock has run, looking at those, uh, those contracts coming through. In fact, uh, Morgan's raising its price target there to 225. So that's considerably lower where it is now. Describing it, that last contract win as a shockingly large 10-year, $330 million contract signed with one of the largest hospital systems in the US. It does have that momentum. How, how do you view Promedicus and particularly where it's at right now? Yeah, it's a, a difficult one because everyone always admits how good the business is, but the valuation always seems extreme. This is probably the best performing stock we've ever sort of picked. It was included you know, in our monthly report in 2017 uh, at, at very low prices. I and mean, looking at the chart, it's something that you don't really see too often, even in the cases of NVIDIA. It's literally parabolic and more recently has almost just gone up directly, you know, so it's still very expensive, but it continues to prove the doubt is wrong. It's the largest position in our managed fund. Um, but in saying that, that position has become the largest through sheer price performance rather than us continuing to add more. Um, it's a company that we, we do like, but it does give you opportunities from time to time to buy it on weakness. So at this stage, we wouldn't be adding more. Um, however, you know, only a couple of years ago when the company won a $20 million contract, it was a, a massive update for the company. These days, those contract sizes have grown exponentially and the most recent one in the vicinity of $300 million just gives you a, a sign of what's of the potential for this company. Because historically, this company was very focused on the academic hospitals or, or in, in the US and they tended to be the wealthier hospitals um, that could spend up on this kind of technology. The fear was always whether or not Promedicus was then going to be able to translate that business model from the academic hospitals into the more um, generic public system. And so far, they've been proving that they've been able to make that leap with these very large hospitals uh, and very large co contracts. Um, so the company is very hard to justify on a valuation basis, but the momentum is very strong. Uh, growing revenue at 30-40%, earnings up around 30-40%. So if they can continue to compound at those growth numbers, then they go some way to justifying today's valuations. But it's a very high quality business, one that we hold, we do like, but we prefer to add it, add to it um, on significant weakness. And this company has historically given you that opportunity where it has fallen, you know, in the vicinity of 30, 40, even 50%, I think a couple of years ago. So. I'll be reserving pulling the trigger until an opportunity like that arises. Yeah, the problem is you don't see that weakness. So <laughs> where, where would you buy it? it? Come, where does it need to go to? Uh, I mean, look, for us, it's hard because we obviously, you know, as I mentioned, we own it. We're sort of cheering it on and that kind of thing. But if you go back over, say, a five year period, um, you'll see at one point it got up around $60 before dropping you know, all the way down to sort of the high 30s. So that was back in 2022, uh, late 2021. And, you know, any any sort of substantial pullback of 20, 30%, we would start to look at it at again, um, so long as the company operationally continues to deliver. And so far they've ticked every box on that front.
All right. So you got to hold on it, obviously. Uh, Kai, how do you see it? Oh. Yeah, you know, I, I agree with Michael. Um, you know, this company from a fundamental standpoint is fantastic and the contracts are just getting bigger and bigger. So they are delivering on what is promised. They do have a fairly large monopoly um, in terms of uh, their technology, um, in terms of rate for radiologists who have to use this is quite a sticky product. Um, now, again, you know, coming to the valuation point, um, I don't know how you can justify getting in at about 243p forward PE ratio. Um, but, you know, obviously, like a lot of our clients hold Prometicus and we're not really trimming for them. Uh, we, well, sorry, we haven't trimmed for them in the past. And, you know, we've been on the bandwagon as well on the way up. Um, and I think, you know, it's getting to, if you look at the chart, it is parabolic. Um, so I think it would be wise to start considering to take some off. Um, but, you know, as, as Michael said before, the real opportunities when when there is a slight correction in the price, um, if it goes down by 30%, um, then, you know, I think it's definitely worth a look at. Um, a while back ago, I was, um, that was one of the, on the wish list. Um, uh, you know, we had a down period and um, I said Prometicus was probably the top pick if it, if it dropped another 20, 30%. And from that point, it's gone, gone up about another 150%. So um, yeah, no, it continues to defy gravity, um, but I think it would be wise to, if you've been in it for a long time, to take some profit. So a trim then from yep. you. Yep. All right, okay. That is our stock of the day, Prometicus. The stock of the day was brought to you by IG. Trade over 12,000 shares and ETFs, including major tech giants with extended hours on an award-winning platform. Get started at IG.com.